Hey kiddos, it's Miss Ballas. How are you guys? I'm trying to do a little something so you guys can see, kind of like we're in the classroom, but not really, but a little bit. We're in my dining room. So you'll see there's stuff in the way, but I wanted to talk a little bit about the animals that you guys are learning this week, the groups of animals. You learned last week about insects. Actually, I think it was like two weeks ago. And this week you're gonna be learning about fish, birds, and mammals, okay? So what I wanna do is I'm gonna put some things up here about these different groups of animals that tells you why they are in that group, why an animal might be in that group. So first let's talk about insects. That's from a long time ago, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna write down the things we know about insects. Let's see if you can remember. Are insects big? Or are they small? That's right, they're small. Do you remember? I said they're usually smaller or the size of the tip of your finger. So I'm gonna write insects are small. Insects are small and I'm gonna draw a little insect. Okay, there's an insect. Very good. Another thing about insects is they have six legs. Let's count the legs on my little insect. I don't know if you can see them. One, two, three, four, five, six. So insects have six legs. Another thing about insects is how they have their babies. They don't grow a baby in their tummy. Not like humans do, right? Insects have babies by laying eggs. So let's say they lay eggs. Good, and lots of times insects will lay eggs on a leaf. So I'm gonna draw a little leaf here. You know my drawing skills, not the best. And then there's lots of little tiny, tiny eggs on there. And that's how an insect has babies. There we go. So that's what we know about insects. And there's gazillions of kinds of insects, but if they have six legs and they lay eggs, most of the time we can call them an insect, okay? Let's move on to fish. If you guys um, watched the video yesterday about fish, you learned some really cool things about fish. Now watch, I'm gonna try to draw one. I'm gonna try to draw a fish right here. Give it this, give it this. Give it this, give it these, and bloop, 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 bloop. What do you think that is? The bloop, 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 bloop. That's water, right? Because where do fish live? In the water, good. So I'm gonna write, they live in the water. So fish live in water. How do they breathe? Do you remember when you listened to this video yesterday or today, whenever you listen to it, how do fish breathe? Can they breathe oxygen the way that we do with our lungs or do they have to breathe it in a different way because they're underwater? Yes, they have to breathe it in a different way because they're underwater. What they have is they have gills. These are gills right here on the side of their on the side of their body. And what that does is it brings the water into their body and then it takes the oxygen that's in the water and that's how they get their oxygen. So I'm gonna write breathe with gills. Breathe with gills. Right? Okay, good. Now another thing that we know that all fish have, they have a tail and fins. Okay, so we're going to say fish have tail, have a tail, oops, and fins. And the last thing that we're going to say about fish is how they have babies. Now, do they have live babies like humans do? Mm -mm. Not most of them. There's a couple of them that have live babies, which is kind of crazy. But almost all fish have babies by laying eggs, just like the insects do. So I'm going to write, they lay eggs, okay? Lay eggs. And just like insects, fish lay eggs, a ton of eggs, all at the same time. 
Say hi, Will. You can say hi. Hi. Okay. Will's playing outside. So I'm going to draw. I know I have a lot of space here, but I'm going to draw a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of eggs. And they lay them in the water because that's where fish live, right? Very good. Okay, the next thing we're going to talk about, and I know this is a lot of information at one time, but I'm making a video so that you can go back and watch it again if you want to, okay? So the next one we're going to do is birds, all right? I'm going to try to draw a bird. Let's see how I do. There's that. There's that. Oops, there's his head. It's kind of like the, kind of like the uh, pigeon. Don't let the pigeon ride the bus, right? There we go. This is the back of the bird. And he's turned around looking like this, okay? So this is a bird. Let's talk about birds. One thing that I want you to know about birds is they have two legs. All birds have two legs. Have two legs. Does that mean they have more legs or less legs than an insect? An insect has six legs, six legs, and birds have two legs. Which one has more? The insect or the bird? The insects, right? So the birds have less legs. They only have two legs. We have two legs as well, right, humans? Um, let me see. Oh, we learned this about their feathers, right? We Well, we know they have feathers. Let's write that down. Have feathers. And where are their feathers? All over their body, but how do they move themselves with their feathers? This shirt kind of looks like bird wings. Very good, they have wings. Do you remember that really cool thing that we learned about the feathers? About how birds stay dry? Remember, on their feathers, they have that special stuff that's called oil. And so when the water gets on the feathers, it kind of rolls off instead of sinking in and getting their skin. So that, that's a way that birds uh, keep dry. Okay, so they have two legs, they have feathers, they have wings. And how do they have their babies? Do they have live babies, like humans? Or do they lay eggs? They lay eggs, very good. Nice job. Now, we've, all, we've talked about bird eggs before. Do they lay millions and millions of eggs like fish, ooh, like fish and like insects, or do they lay just a few at a time? Just a few at a time, right? So I had to draw a little nest because when I think of birds, I think of nests, which is where they lay their eggs, right? And here's one, maybe two, maybe three eggs, okay? Now the last thing that we're gonna talk about is mammals. Mammals is a really tricky one because there are so many animals that we know that fit into this group of animals, mammals. Now, if an animal breathes air, like we do, I'm gonna write breathes air. If they have fur or hair, Covering their bodies, fur or hair. And if they have live babies, okay? Live babies means the mommy carries the baby in her tummy and then the baby comes out of mommy and the baby is alive. It's not from an egg, okay? So I'm gonna write live babies. Live babies. And then the last part that you know it's a mammal if this is what happens, okay? The last part is, it's a really cool thing that the mommy mammals do. Their body makes milk to feed the baby once the baby is born. 
No other animal groups that I know of make milk like that for their babies. So that's the really special thing about mammals is the mommy, her body, all on its own, makes milk to feed that baby once the baby's born. Mommy, oops. Oh my goodness, I'm having a hard time spelling. Mommy's body makes the milk. to feed the baby. There we go. So, here's my question for you. I'm gonna go through these things one more time really, really quick because you can go back and watch it again. And then I'm gonna ask you a question at the end. A que the question at the end, what I want you to do is I want you to send me a message or draw me a picture or send me a video saying what your answer is, okay? So let's go through again really quick. Insects, we know something's an insect if it's really small, it has six legs, and it lays eggs. We know something is a fish if it lives in water, if it breathes with gills, if it has a tail and fins, and if it lays eggs in the water. We know something's a bird if it has two legs, and it has feathers, and it has wings, and it lays eggs. I wrote, I wrote legs, hold on. If it lays, Eggs, E-G-G-S. Let's try that again, Miss Ballas. Look at that, one, two, three little eggs in there. So if it lays eggs. And we know something is a mammal if it breathes air, it has fur or hair that covers its body. They have live babies. And remember that special thing, the mommy's body makes milk to feed the baby when it's born. So here's my question, are you ready? And remember, you gotta send me a video of you telling me what the answer is, or a picture, or just a message. What group of animals do humans belong in? Do they belong in the insect group, the fish group, the bird group, or the mammal group? And can you tell me why you think humans belong in the group that you choose? So I can't wait to see what you say or what you send me. And I will be talking to you soon, okay? I miss you guys like crazy. I love you. Bye-bye.